What is up, boys and girls? Welcome to our very first game of Senna in Season 13. We are going to be playing with the new tank items that are just going to turn Senna into this absolute invincible behemoth of a champion, guys. Tank Senna is back, and I'm going to be showing it to you guys. Uh, again, this is our very, very first game as Senna on Season 13. I've played one or two games since the items have dropped on other champions, but it's our first time busting out our, uh, our main baddie, so... We are going to be swapping back to Grass of the Undying, Font of Life, Bone Plating, Overgrowth, Presence of Mind, Legend of the AD Armor, MR. And we're going to be seeing, guys, if this new season, since there are a bunch of new tank items, uh, this is going to be the, you know, the resurgence of Tank Senna. Which is always a just super fun and broken way to play her. Bro, my hands are so cold right now. All right, this guy can't walk up. Boom, get the soul off him. So yeah, basically the idea behind going tank Senna is that you are just going to be invincible. Uh, you're going to be able to walk up. You still do a disgusting amount of damage, so it's not like you're like trading off your damage when you build tank or anything. Like this champion just has like has like so much, so much broken scaling built into her passive, so much damage built into her passive that uh, you're still going to be like doing a really really high amount of damage. It's just you're going to be able to go for fights that you want to be able to otherwise. You're going to scale even harder. Beautiful. Yeah. And so, like, in, 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 one, in one sense of the word, like, by building tank, you're able to stay in fights longer and, like, not die, which gives you a better KDA and, like, more damage overall. That's the idea, anyways. So, yeah, we're going to be going... Here's the new items, guys. We've got Jack Show the Protean. We've got Radiant Virtue. We've got a different version of Iceborne Gauntlet. And then we've got Heart Steel. I'm going to be going for Heart Steel. I've, I've heard really, really good things about it. So let's talk about what that item even does. Uh, essentially, you charge up a powerful attack against a champion over three seconds while within one set. Oopsies, I am taking turret shot. Within 700 range of them. So, you know, as a tank, we're going to be frontlining. We're going to be getting in their faces. We're going to be soaking up a bunch of damage. And uh, while that's happening, it just automatically goes off. It get, hits them with this big burst ability. Just automatically through your item. And then you also gain permanent health through it, which is pretty insane to me. Go mid here. I would definitely go mid here. Oh, baby. Okay. Just gonna hit him with the exalt. Okay, we got his flash. I don't think he gets out of this, though. I'm, I'll go through the portal. Actually, I don't think I can get him. I can't even flash WM. Alright, no visions there, though. Not too bad. He's thinking Bard is his ally. Oh my. Oh, baby. Very nice. Walk back into lane. Get a free kill. Oh. And Nocturne killed the jungler. Beautiful. Uh, we got Dragon up in 23 seconds. Oh, we got the new ping system too. Push. I actually really like the new ping system. Any any like new form of communication we can have with our teammates is really, really good. Now, ideally, they just freaking give us comms. They just give us voice comms, but we're, we're not ready for that conversation. Uh, but again, we're going to just be going heart steel, which it looks like it has a really, really nice build path. Uh, super, super conducive to like support budget because you're pretty much always going to have like four or 500 gold when you go back and you got all these nice little uh, small components. So it's not like you need like a mid laner's budget or a jungler's budget to be able to go back and get an item. So, so far we've gotten five procs of Grass of the Undying, which it's, Sid is probably like one of the best champions to proc, uh, to use Grass of the Undying, just because she constantly has access to like poke and picking up her soul resets the timer. Like that counts as being in combat for some reason. Much of something, then you're not enough you. That nice, beautiful. Did you guys see that little pivot below a minion? Get the Q on him, made him rootable through Jin's W. The past is away. You are not coming back in the lane this way, bro. Yeah, why not? <laughs> we just took away the blast code. He had nowhere to go. All right, we see Gangplank coming down. 
Hopefully we don't get gangplank ulted here. I'll go ahead and pop a Q into my ADC. What are we getting pinged from, bro? All right, their bot lane is in a pretty bad spot. Bard will roam. Bard can literally not do anything this game but roam. So we're going to push for plates as much as we can. We're not going to try to match those roams. That's like something that I see a lot of bad center players do. If they're like, oh, the enemy ate, enemy supports roaming. I'm going to roam too. Nope, you're not going to get souls that way. You're not going to get plates. And you're not a good roamer. Bard coming top. All you can do, guys, all you can do is just warn your, uh, warn your team. And just hope they make the right play. Which I'm sure they will. Oh. They somehow were still surprised that Bard roamed. Ain't that crazy? I don't know. Turret, turret, turret. How do we actually die to that roam? All right, Nocturne's wanting help on Dragon. All right, I'll come help. I also want to get all this XP, though. Oh, he's already got it. Jungle's broken this season, guys. This season. As if it hasn't been broken every season. Yeah, we should definitely have just uh, come bot with this Nocturne ult. Should have ulted uh, the Aphelios. It's fine, though. I'm in no rush, guys. Hmm. I'm kind of out of mana. Beautiful, baby. I mean, we kind of both lure ultis there, but it's fine. Well, if he hits him, if he gets vision of him, I can ult him, maybe. He's gone. Nice try. We just play for more plates. Uh, Bard might tunnel the Kindred in here. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what he's going to do. Let's get this plate and get out of here. Nope. Which means that Kindred's probably topside. I would say maybe on Rift Herald. Because if she was boss side, she would be getting tunneled by Bard right now. Beautiful. I mean, I'm less than 400 gold away. I kind of just want to stay at this point. It seems foolish to go back, spend all this gold, and then have to go back again. I, I, at this point, I just want to get my full uh, full item. Plus, I'm ready to like feel, see what it feels like to have uh, heart, heart steel. So the mythic passive, it, mythic passive it grants all other legendary items one percent increased health and six percent champion size. We're gonna be being, we're, we're gonna be turning into like big Senna guys. Which is always funny to see. Okay, where is Kindred and Bard? Because we got the Rift Herald. Kindred? There's Kindred. Does he live? Run. Oh, he got hit by the gank bike. Oh, that's so lame. It's alright. I got my heart steel. I'm fine. I'm happy. I actually think that, like, some of the new uh, item names are kind of bad. Like, for instance, Jack to Jack Show the Protean is probably the worst item name I've ever heard in my life. Uh, but I actually really like Heartsteel. I don't know. It sounds, it sounds like, a, like an 80s metal band or something. And now introducing Heartsteel. I know where they killed that guy, though. Oh, I bet Bard does really good with the tank items, too. No, he's too good. He's too good. So sad. I was really hoping Bard would just funnel in. Oh, she has- wait, she has no ult. No way. No way! Okay. Bard is really low. Oh, they're TPing though. Let's get out of here, bro. Oh, wait. 
Wait, so it's, it's already used it? Charge attacks one? Damage? It does 120 damage? I need help getting out of here. Kindred and Gangplank might collapse on me. Dude, 120 damage and it gained me 24 health. Man, everyone just has flash, bro. Maybe, guys, maybe in season 14 they'll remove flash. Wait, so, okay, I procced it twice again. So it's doing about 120 something damage. And that will scale too. And every time I do it, it just gives me 24% max health. Wait, I'm gonna have so much health this game. I'm gonna be so tanky. Yeah, let's go down here. Should have queued the Nocturne so I get an assist here. Okay, we get another dragon. Ease up. So yeah, guys, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, definitely let me know down in the comments. What do you think about Tank Senna in Season 12? I'm trying to think about, like, what, what should I go for second item here? So every time I proc grass... I'm gonna drop the LT. I don't think I can kill this guy. No! Wait, save me! Save me! No! Alright, alright, right. he avenged me though. Bard is gonna portal out. Alright, so for second item, definitely gonna go like plated seal caps for my boots. And then we'll think about. Can't go into the other mythics. We can go maybe. Dude, honestly, maybe Gargoyle Stone Plate. That actually might be such a clutch item. I'm not sure we need anti heal. Yeah, honestly, bro, like. Maybe tier 2 boots into gargoyles. Taking damage from a champion grants a stack of 5% bonus armor for 6 seconds. Yeah. So it'll give me a nice shield. So I can survive after the kindred alt wears off. Oh boy. Got this map, huh? Beautiful. Hit him with the ward Q. Slow him. Oh my god. Bro, that one, that plant sent me so freaking far. What? Uh. Got him rooted. Alright. Yeah, I forgot on this plant the blast cones send you like literally sailing. That's so funny. I'm liking this though. I'm liking this. 630 dip damage dealt through a tank item. There we go, boys. We take this Rift Herald. Oh, and these give you like increased health and a shield, and it doesn't slow you down. Yo, I actually like this map. I also like how there's just like Nickelodeon slime all over the place. Please. Everyone wants the red. <laughs> Only I get it, though. It's so good on me. Trust. Bro, okay, so people are, are, like, so in love with the idea that red buff should always go on the ADC, but it should just always... It, it should go on the person that autos the most. Which means that red buff is, like, almost always the best on Senna. I have the highest range. I have 640 range. Oof. You're not gonna lie? That Gangplank bit Barrel didn't do that much damage to me. So, like, this item gives you a lot of health, but it doesn't give you any resistances. Which is kind of nice, because Sin actually has the lowest health, uh, base health in the entire game. I don't feel quite as squishy, but we definitely need to, definitely need to like, build resistances on top of that. Senna Q and Fury say, why does the laser kill Beerus even if it wasn't the target? Smile. There we go. This, we're gonna go... 
Gargoyles. Forget we got the Kim Tank Drake. What does that do again? I think it just gives you like tenacity. Bro, I think, th isn't this a tank? A tank champ or a tank Drake? Gives you like tenacity and armor, I think. <laughs> the new blast cones are so goofy, man. These guys are all so dead. These guys are so dead. So dead. Beautiful, man. Killing spree, baby. This season is fun. All right, so I've procced grass 23 times. I have over 2,000 health. I like it. Okay. Oh. Uh oh. It's procking grass from a mile away. Hey, no big deal. I'm just a frontline marksman tank. Oh, I'm dead. I got him, Rude. That's all. That, this bard is fighting some nice flanks, actually. Respect. Oh, the flash cue, huh? Oh, bard went radiant virtue. Oh, get anything here? Okay. Boom! <laughs> Dude, I think the new blast codes are so freaking funny. Uh, my ulti's in five. I think Kindred's gonna ult here. Oh, she doesn't have ult. Wait. One. Dang. I lost vision of her. All right, alter. Got Nocturne on Dragon. So all we need to do is clean this up right here. No! We don't get the dragon? Nice. Yeah, I just feel like I still do so much damage even though I'm like literally building full tank. 1,000 extra damage from my tank item mythic, not bad. Hmm. Might miss the dragon now. I want the drag. I don't really care about Baron. The last blessings of the Isles. I see Kindred here. I have to have this warded. I just got two autos on her. I'm literally full tank, so I can just stand wherever I want. You cannot, though. You are squishy, Kindred. Okay, Kindred's dead. I'm literally just autoing everyone. I do not appear to be taking any damage. Dude, this is the crazy... I am literally just walking wherever I want to. I'm in the middle of their team. As as Sid of support, just doing whatever I want. Oh, I really hope they don't FF. I really hope they don't FF. This game is crazy. All right, I got the... I got Gargoyle Stone Plate now. All right, so I think that my mythic went off a couple times. That fight. Because it's got a 30 second cooldown per target. So I can actually... 
I can actually like proc it on like all five of them. So theoretically, I could do like 1,000 plus damage in a fight if I proc it on everyone. Chase this. Oh. No. Nice. Bro, look at look, look how I'm positioning. Dude, on God, I you can never position like this if you're going like lethality or crit. I still have my gargoyles too. I probably didn't even need to flash. I probably could have just gargoyles because it's going to give me a. Hmm. I'm not sure what the shield is going to be, but it's going to be massive. Yeah, we're going full limit test next fight, by the way. I'm literally, like, I'm, I'm already just, like, literally walking up to their, like, massive threats, like Ord and Gangplank. Not really caring, but uh, next fight, we're going to go even deeper. Let's go, I guess let's go Frozen Heart. Gives me some mana, armor, ability haste. So right now, I've got 180 armor. How much Ord has? Probably have like something equivalent to what Orn has. Yeah, th this is this is pretty sick. I, I actually think this is a really good build. Orn has 200 armor. Get my grass proc. About to get my heart steel proc. Wonder is there not a visual that goes off? Oh my god, look at my health. Oh no. Oh no. No way, bro. I'm actually gonna live through this. Not in a million years would I live through that as as normal Seta. Holy god. Alright, we're gonna get her all uh rooted. <laughs> and I'm just still doing so much damage. It's more like chip damage than like actual like one shot damage. I'm not meaning to type bait. Where's retreat? Just the red ping. Yeah, I, I would have been dead like 18 times over. And you can't deal any damage when you're dead. So that's what I'm saying. Like, this tank build, like, lets you do more damage. I'll definitely take this one. Oh, my God. It's the Kim Tech soul, baby. Can I take raptors? This kind of takes forever. Ah! Bro! I, I'm tilted. I'm tilted. I'm tilted for the entire season now. Okay, so this number right here tells you how much health you've gained. That's not that's not the damage that it's done. I've used this 17 times. Oh man. Okay. Get the soul. Y'all are ahead, fight us normally. What is fighting normally? Yo, by the way, I used Gargoyle Stone Plate one time and it shielded 600 damage. Yeah, this is a little cracked. It gives me a 1700 health shield. What? <laughs> 
Yeah, um... Not sure I'm actually able to be killed, like, just in general. Okay, our Echo's dead. Nocturne ulted the Born, but it ended up being actually genius. Gotta wait till they start focusing me to use my uh, my thing, my shield. I got, oh, I didn't get it rooted. I didn't even need to use my shield, bro. I'm just too tanky in general. Like, I know they weren't like technically focusing me there, but they can't really afford to focus me, you know what I mean? My God, no freaking way I live there, bro. What? What is this Cina build? <laughs> right? No way, man. That's so funny. No shot, right? I actually thought this through. Oh my God. <laughs> It's actually invincible. Sin about to be banned 90%. Yo, this guy knows what's up. This guy understands. Alright, well just for just for memes, I'm gonna buy an elixir and I'm gonna pop it when, next time we fight. I see myself in them. In the eyes of the people I save. This guy understands, bro. Alright, so I proc'd Grass of the Undying 60 times. Alright, let's make sure we get this dub, though. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm actually just, like, huge, though, too. Like, just physically. Like, my model size is big. Dang, we just all dropping our, our credits. Whoa! I'm gonna ult. Ooh, that did no damage. Uh oh. Hmm, okay. We got Kindred's ult. Guys, I have 3,500 health as Cinna. Lowest base health in the game, by the way. I, I'm like not even trying to avoid gangplank barrels anymore. I literally just don't even care. Like, like, look how forward I am positioning, bro. Oh. Yeah? Yeah? Do you think you win this? <laughs> I can't be killed, bro! I actually can't be killed now. That was kind of a bad gargoyle stone play. I, if, if I want to start building this item, I need to get a little bit better at it. It's it's like popping like uh, lock it, but only for yourself. Also, these fights are going on so long. No, don't let him kill me. Ah, oh, big rip. Oh, I, I didn't even pop my elixir of iron. I'm such a I'm such a nerd, bro. I didn't pop my elixir. Oh my god, that would have been so funny if at the very last second, right as he raises his pistol to kill me, I pop the elixir and he doesn't kill me. I, I would have just like eaten my spinach as Popeye.
Not bad, guys. Uh, 7, 4, and 31. Absolute insane build. Crackhead uh, uh, build. Love it, love it, love it, guys. This is the return of Tank Senna. Can't wait to see how Riot nerfs this build into the ground. <laughs> but I'm going to say for now, that is a really, really good build. Especially if you've already locked Senna and you need a little bit more frontline. Because look at this. We still did a disgusting amount of damage. That's the thing. We did 34,000 damage, second only to our Jin. And let me just put that in perspective. Our Jin had 17 kills, right? We had nothing but assist, really. So there's the damage. There's the healing done. We healed for 21,000. Ally healing healed for 6K. Ally shielding shielded for 15K. Damage taken, we took... <laughs> okay, we took 35,000 damage. Absolutely insane. Let me know what you guys think about the, this build and strat down in the comments if you guys watched it on YouTube. Take it easy, boys. Peace. Uh.